Hey there, so today we have another review with Katie, and this is actually from Westbrook. I stopped by uh, Mount Pleasant, which is uh, right there, uh, right outside of Charleston. It's literally like 15 minutes, I want to say, from downtown Charleston. And so I got to check out uh, the brewery, and actually got to meet one of the bartenders who's actually a Cicerone, so thank you for recommending this one. Uh, this is their Red Raspberry Pork fi Pipe Finish. It's a what? Fruit Wood Time? Uh, red raspberry pork fight pipe finish. So um, you guys might know Westbrook for their Mexican cake, which is their kind of uh, Mexican style imperial stout, uh, their Westbrook Goza. But they also have a mixed fermentation program where they do barrel-aged beers, long ferments. And I didn't know that Westbrook had that kind of program going on. They're a decent-sized brewery. So these are actually released out of the brewery. Didn't actually haven't actually seen these despite distribution in New York. Now I'm in Florida, so really excited to try out their mixed fermentation beers. So what is this? This is an oak aged sour ale with raspberries, and then is racked into two 650 liter tawny port pipes. I don't know what port pipes are, but tawny port is a relatively sweet uh, port. It is. Um, we had tawny port actually last year on your birthday <laughs> as a sort sort of a digestif. What a clinky dick. Yeah. <laughs> Took my lady out for a birthday. <laughs> so the beer is 100% bottle conditioned. It is also re-fermented with uh, raspberries for six months. And this was actually bottled uh, two years ago. So almost two, year and a half, two and a half years ago. So the beer has a beautiful kind of pinkish hue to it. Uh, looks a little bit like a... Ruby red grapefruit. Ruby red grapefruit is a good descriptor for that. So let's get the aroma on this one. Oh, yeah. Ooh. Sour, funky, quite acidic. Raspberry jam. That's but it's what I super am. sour. Yeah. It is. <laughs> like homemade raspberry jam. Sure. Ra raspberry jam, raspberry seeds, uh, a little bit of that vinegar tone in there. Wow. Mm. It smells delectable. It smells like uh, some really great complex raspberry sours that I've had. So uh, cheers. cheers. Taste this one. Definitely sour. <laughs> <laughs> the face. Um, this is medium plus to full acidity. It's quite sour. Mm. Wow. Beautiful raspberry note in general. The beer has a nice balance of that lactic kind of acidity up front and then a little bit of acetic driving on the back end. So the lactic is up front, sort of what you taste in um, yogurt. And then acetic is what you get on the back end, which is like vinegar, balsamic. Apple cider vinegar. Apple so cider vinegar, for sure. sure. So there is there is a good amount of that driving in here as well. Yeah. I mean, it tastes like somewhere between Greek yogurt and apple cider vinegar. Yeah, somewhere in between that. I would say leans maybe a little bit more uh, acidic, so a little mm -hmm. bit more of that vinegary kind of tone to it. Um, the tawny port, I'm not quite sure, because tawny port is very sweet. Um, possibly some complexity of what they aged it in. So it's Asian two oak fooders, yeah. Yeah, so the oak I probably might get, but the uh, tawny port tri uh, treatment, I'm not quite sure. So what we're getting here is the oak, the beautiful complexity of the sourness, the long fermentation, the acidity. I'm not quite sure I'm getting the port thing going on. Sharp, bright, zippy. As clean. someone, yeah, pretty as, clean. As someone Dude. who, uh, this who might actually, be a funky, complex beer. Sorry. Who actually, uh, I actually really enjoy apple cider vinegar, like like the real apple cider vinegar with the mother. Um, I I mean, this is really good. Yeah. <laughs> so, what are your general impressions, tasting notes, and I mean, let's go with your final impressions. Just all your opinions. And I mean, I definitely, I definitely taste, I definitely taste like apple cider vinegar. Like, I mean, it's it's fermented. Um, mm -hmm. And, I mean, overall, if I had to give it a rating, sour is not necessarily my favorite uh, genre of beer, um, but it's, um, I, I would say, like, maybe a, a 90. Mm -hmm. I says uh, really well executed. Not super jammy. A little bit of that fruit skin going on, a little bit of the uh, raspberry seeds, the acidity comes in, a little bit tannic, mm -hmm. maybe from seeds and the oak. It has a little bit of vinegary quality to it, a little bit of like funk just driving around, and but it's zippy, it's clean, it's a lighter kind of raspberry beer. Some of these beers can be really rambunctious, really huge in their fl flavor of the amount of raspberry they use. I think the uh, the complexity of the uh, mixed fermentation with sourness and the funk, 
was decently put in there. Um, the oak is a little bit dancing around. I really wish that like they're going to call it Tawny Port, that they have a little bit more of that kind of crazy complexity that I'm looking for, but that's completely fine. You can name it what it is. The glass is what it is, right? So the beer is still good as what it is, despite what they advertise and what they did to it. Um, great beer. 90... 96, 96. This is just a great, great sour beer. So really exciting that Westbrook pr can produce a um, non-clean, quote-unquote clean sour like uh, Westbrook Goza. They're doing some really funky, interesting stuff. And so if you ever stop by the brewery or if they're releasing the bottles anywhere, they can find it. Check it out. I didn't know they were doing a mixed fermentation um, program. Check them out. Until next time, guys. Thank you so much. This is Katie. This is Darwin. Later.